Hi guys, Joe McNally with AdSense Flipper Skin. Talking about step four of the migration process. We're going to create a DB in our new hosting account and get all the details that we need to connect WordPress to it and then restore from the SQL file that we transferred from the old DB. So the first thing you're going to need to do is log into your other GoDaddy account we are transferring everything to. Once you've logged in, select the account that you want to transfer to. And then at the top, go ahead and click Databases, MySQL. You might be familiar with this screen from, from the backup that we did before, but this time we're going to create a new database. Um, description, you want to make the description something useful uh, because you never know when you're going to be looking at it in a long list of items. If you have a lot of sites, it could be quite confusing. So we're going to call this uh, adsenseflippers.com. Um, the database username uh, and password, I'm going to blank out here, uh, but it should be something uh, sufficiently difficult uh, or someone to guess. Lastly, you're always going to want to check Allow Direct Database Access. You're going to want to click Yes for that, for GoDaddy, and that allows us uh, for WordPress to be able to access this database directly. And then just click the OK button. see it'll say pending setup and you can hit the refresh button a couple of times until it is set up usually doesn't take very long but I'm gonna pause the video until that is completely set up okay guys we're back and as you can see the new database that I set up for AdSense flippers is right here and it's in a setup status instead of pending so that means that we can go ahead and get the details by clicking on this little edit view details button. Just like when you did a restore, sometimes you need to double click on this button uh, because the hosting control center is not so keen on single clicking. The uh, reason why we're coming in here is uh, twofold. One is to get all the details of the database, which we'll need later uh, when we create WP config file for WordPress. So you're going to want to record all of these stats, uh, the host name, the database name, um, your username, and, and the password that you entered in um, when you created the database. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and restore from the backup file uh, that we added to the underscore db backups folder. So as soon as you click the restore button, it'll pop up with this little window and it'll show any of the SQL files that you have there. I'll go ahead and click that file and click restore. You'll get a warning message um, that you're going to overwrite everything and the database will be down, but that's okay. Uh, you'll then get a processing message. It will take a little bit of time, but uh, even fairly large databases can be restored pretty quickly. Um, so it'll be a, in a pending restore case and you can just go back to the list of databases and continue to hit refresh until it goes from a pending restore to a setup position. Setup status rather. And that's it for step four. You now have your files transferred uh, and your database set up.